the German short hair pointer. Beautiful dog in action. Lovely dog to work. Uh, usually does everything. Retrieves from water, retrieves from land, wants some cover. Good woodcock dog when you get a good one. But in Ireland at the moment, it's very hard to get a good one. Um, there's a few reasons for that. I won't go into them now. I won't go into them now because I'm not in the in the uh, field of running down dogs or running down anything else. But there is a few reasons for that, and I have my own opinions on that. But if you get a good one, you have a lovely dog to work with. A really lovely dog to work with. Um, and I get la asked a lot of time by lads, John, would you recommend a German short hair pointer? And the one thing I'll always say to them, highly, highly recommend them if you know the breeding. If they're from good working lines, yes. If they're not, absolutely not, unless you want a pet. But if they're from good working lines, you'll not get a better gun dog. Now, this is a lovely lad I have in here. He's 13 months old, and on YouTube, I'm going to train this dog to pint. I've already trained him to retrieve. I've already trained him to retrieve from water. I've already trained him to stop jumping up. I've already trained him to walk on the lead with manners. So I've done all that. I've trained him to walk to heel. We're going good, well with that. But now he's a gun dog. So what we have to do now is we have to train him to pint. He's not pinting yet, but I like his signs. I like the signs he's showing. And he has what I call a nice bit of nerve. Anyone in the pinter setter game will know what a nice bit of nerve is. It means that he's just steady. If he sees something, he studies it. If he smells something, he just slows down and thinks, mm, what's this? He's not running in like a bull in a china shop, flushing all in the place. He's studying. He's not pinting yet, but he's studying. So there's a nice bit of nerve in him. Now, if you're interested in buying a German pinter, or if you have a German pinter, a young dog, watching my videos on YouTube will just enlighten you more on the breed, enlighten you more on what to look from, for the breed, from the breed, and maybe teach you how to train yours. I've had German pinters for off and on for maybe 25 years, and they were my favorite breed for a long time. And I'd like them maybe to come my favorite breed again, or next to the Springer, we'll say equal favorites because they're a fantastic dog beautiful dog lovely dog in action and as i say a lyle a lyle companion in the field so if you follow me on youtube on gf tierney gun dog trainer you'll see see this is a great thing going through a gate you know when you train a dog to go through a gate it's brilliant now that's a bad thing someone's left some rubbish there so i'm going to bring that with me now uh, you know, when we go anywhere, the only thing we should take away with us are memories, and the only thing we should leave behind are footprints. If we all think that way, we'll have a beautiful countryside. So, follow me again on uh, JF Tierney, capital J, capital F, capital T, gun dog trainer. And uh, you'll see me train this German pinter to pint. I'll try and do it in three weeks. Set myself a challenge. You know, I like a challenge. So I'll set myself a challenge to train this pinter to pint in three weeks. So here, look at this again. So it's up to you to uh, to follow me. And um, if you're training a young dog, we we'll train it together. We we'll train it together. And uh, it'll be, uh... sorry about the nice. If we're training a dog, we can, if you're training a young dog, we'll train it together and we'll have a, an enjoyable experience. So I'll leave you there now, because there's more up here. So I want to use both hands together this and uh, chat to you later. Have a lovely morning. Enjoy your day, whatever you get up to. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.